yo, yo, what's cracking, guys? So, sorry I haven't updated in a while. Uh, it was my birthday weekend, so my parents came down, had a ton, ton of stuff to do. So I got, I got a little bit of footage of that. My parents are kind of awkward around the camera, so... Of course I get a phone call. From Washington, D.C. Okay, no. Where was I? Yeah, so I got some footage I'm gonna be posting up. Nothing, nothing too fancy, because my parents hate the camera, but uh, it was good time, good time. Drank a little more than I wanted to, so I really gotta tighten up. I got a question from someone on YouTube, and basically, the question went like this. If I train a particular, let's, I believe he was talking about push-ups. So if I train my chest every day, is that going to make me bigger, right? So this is going to apply to any muscle group. I'm just gonna do a little demonstration. I'm gonna show this with my Super Nintendo games. Okay, let's see if I can kind of describe this. So, the short answer to this question is, you're gonna get stronger. You're gonna get stronger, but it's not gonna help you grow your muscle. You, you will probably grow a little bit, but you're gonna plateau very quickly. And this is generally the reason why. Okay, so let's say, these are muscle fibers, okay? So we have three muscle fibers. Now, generally, you're working out, you're causing micro tears. We're, we're, I'm gonna use chest as an example. So you're causing micro tears and inflammation in your muscles. This causes your muscles, so we're, break, we're technically breaking down muscle, okay? So these are muscle fibers, okay? This is your chest right now. So we're breaking it down, lots of tears, I'm taking away muscle. Technically, muscle's not disappearing, but th this is the injured muscle, this too, okay? Your body's like, holy crap. Holy shit, okay? I need to repair my muscle because I'm weakened, you know, I'm hurt. We're, we're basically injuring ourselves at the gym every day. But what I also need to do is figure out a way to, if this constantly happens to me, I need to figure out a way to get stronger, to resist damage in the future. So, your body builds muscle, okay? Repairs it and says, I'm gonna require a little bit of muscle. So next time when this happens, let's say I'm working out again at the exact same intensity. Now I have more muscle to protect myself later on. That's why we always have to work out. You know, we either have to lift heavier or we have to lift more reps or we have to change up our workout because our body adapts this way. So as we do this, let's say we worked out harder and we're slowly building more and more muscle. NHL 94, I need to play that again. Okay, anyways. Now this, that's generally how you do it. If you're giving your body sufficient time to recover. People that work out every day, especially guys, especially teenage guys are really bad for this. All they really care about is their chest, maybe arms. So they focus on this three or four times a week. So this is what happens. They break down some muscle, okay? It's repairing itself. Oh, next day they break down some muscle. Okay, it's trying to repair itself again. Oh, you just, you worked out again. Okay, your body's starting to build muscle again. Oh, you just worked out too soon again. Your body is not having time to recover and grow stronger. So even though you're working out and you might get stronger, you're gaining no actual muscle. So I know that was a little longer than what I could have said, but essentially, if you're gonna work out a muscle group, give it some time to grow. Okay, now that usually, what I usually do um, is I'll do chest, say Mondays, and then I'll probably do chest again Thursdays. So I, I try to give myself ideally two days in between, and in the and then in the meantime, so I'll do. Um, excuse me. I will do. Here, I'll just tilt this camera. We don't need to stare. We don't need to stare at the games anymore. So what I tend to do, I'll do uh, chest. 
and triceps one day. And then the next day I'll do back and biceps. Day three, I do shoulders, uh, kind of back because I do shrugs as well. But I'll, I'll mainly do shoulders and abs. Day four is pure leg day. Wait, day four I guess is technically chest and arms again. And then day five is leg day. I think that's how I do it. And then day six, anything that I missed or had to catch up on, uh, I do. Um, that's just a really quick generalization. So basically I try to organize my week so that I give myself at least, at least a good solid day for recovery. Big muscle groups like legs. I really only do legs really hard, but only once a week because uh, they're pretty sore for the next couple days. And I try to do chest twice a week, but only if there's a few days in between. So that was a long answer to that question. But don't overtrain. Work out all your muscle groups. Don't just do your chest. Work out your legs. Don't have chicken legs, guys. You know, you got to work out your whole body. Okay, and if, if you do work out your other muscle groups, like your shoulders and stuff, you're going to be able to bench more anyways. So come on, figure out a plan that gets all your muscle groups in every week. Okay, well, that's about it, guys. Uh, hopefully that explanation, it was a simplistic version of it, but hopefully that kind of explained how muscle gut works. Um, the only other thing to that I should mention before I go is, uh, maybe I'll do a video on it actually, but just because you're not sore, say you worked out really hard and the next day you're not sore, that doesn't mean to go and work that muscle group again until it gets sore, okay? You may get sore and you may adapt to it, but that doesn't mean you're not growing muscle, so... Soreness, soreness does not always equal muscle growth, okay? All right, that's it guys. See you guys later.